Hey guys, good morning. You know that it's an early morning when the sun hasn't even made it past the tree yet. So, here we are. We are off to a mobile appointment. I'm gonna set you guys right up here right next to Dobby. A mobile appointment in Shelton today. So we have a ways to go. just starting out we're about six miles into it but we still have another 46 miles to go so just a, a under an hour of travel as long as things don't get uh, messed up congested etc and the funny thing about it is we're going to almost the same area that we went to uh, last week when we all went to ride the rail cars so funny little tidbit of information there I've got my parts behind me I am replacing the upper and lower control arm and the inner and outer tie rods left and right side on a Ford F-150 today. So that is my day. And then I gotta drive back, which also is a part of my day. Cow, that's the best mileage I've ever gotten before. I've been extremely uh, light throttle today, um, taking it easy. We've already gone uh, 40.1 miles, and I did have it up to 30.2 miles per gallon. Pretty good for this uh, Ford. <laughs> I forgot to tell you guys that it's supposed to be a warm one today, but look at this. This is so amazing. Today I'm working in the shade. I'm so lucky. I have cover from the sun. Yes! Oh man, on second thought, the sun is starting to creep in. And, uh, well, I've got everything apart. <laughs> oh man. But the sun, the sun has crept from there to there in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna get sunned on. No! Oh, by the way, that's bad. And. That's bad too. I'll tell you guys the story here in a little bit, but I'm not done. Got everything back together though. Okay, so I am not done yet. Every time you go out on a, every time I go out on a job, I always try to go through my head to figure out exactly what tools I'm going to need, and then sometimes even bringing along tools that you know it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it kind of thing. Well, I'm doing front end work. I need to grease the ball joints when I put this thing back together. Well, guess what? My grease and my grease gun are at home. So it looks like today, Troy gets a new grease gun. There is an O'Reilly's Auto Parts about 14 minutes away from my customer's house. So we're talking a half hour of time being wasted. And uh, who knows, I'm thinking like 25 bucks for grease and a grease gun, maybe if I get a cheap one. So I don't know, here we go. On our way to O'Reilly's. Oh yeah, and I think it was just around the 4th of July uh, when I came through here before when I worked at this customer's house, all these trees were alive. And then on the 4th of July, they had this huge uh, forest fire and it uh, took out all these trees. In fact, my customer was uh, told that he should evacuate, although it was not mandatory. But this is only like three minutes away from my customer's house. So, yeah. Big old fire. Okay, I'm wrapping up. It is, I don't know what time it is. It's late. I was hoping to uh, have not taken this long on this job. Uh, here's the new uh, grease gun that I will be returning to O'Reilly's because I, of course, I got the cheapest one and it leaks like all over. And um, it was hard to pull the cartridge back. It kept sticking. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, it's got a solid uh, end here. I didn't notice that. 
having a solid end on a grease gun is next to impossible to use. Uh, usually there's a rubber hose here so you can bend it so you can get into where you need to get into. Um, so I'm going to go bill out and uh, get home. So we did the uh, inner and outer tie rod on that side, inner and outer tie rod and upper lower control arm on this side. And the steering wheel right now is straight. Can you guys see that? Straight steering wheel. We are out of here. And the time is just about three o'clock, 2.57. So hopefully we can uh, get out of here and get home before the brunt of the rush hour traffic. Um, actually, let's take a look right now and see where we're at here. Here, here, home, and wow. All right, it's green, but one hour to home, 58 minutes. Do I want to try and get really good fuel economy or do I want to fly like an airplane? Go have a shower in a minute, yeah, and I'll, I'll do it by myself. Stay and listen, okay, Mr. Bro. Oh, by the way, guys, the day's over. We're doing the COC. Mr. Bro says hi there. Hello, Francis Royer. Good morning, afternoon, plus evening. Seems like fall weather here, quite cool here in the 60s. Oh. Wow, all over the map this year, yeah, Jules. I had to get caught up, and wow. Amazing secret outings and Phoenix's room reveal, not to mention your mom's renovation. I was actually in your area, took an Alaskan cruise out of Seattle and toured Seattle for the first time. Wow. Oh, and finally saw Mount Rainier with my own two eyes. Oh. It was stunning. Last, I never knew about the ducks uh, before, but they had them all over the cruise ship, and it sure was fun finding them oh, that's fun. and rehiding them. <laughs> Ben Massey, while in high school, I had to sort resistors for my engineering class. Mm. Oh my gosh, that must have been horrible. <laughs> I, I had uh, an electronics class in school, and we had resistors and capacitors and diodes and transistors and yeah, all this stuff. Yeah, we had to do the same thing. Uh, Josh Bryant, never noticed that they are adding medians so those people can only turn right into their driveways. That would piss me off. You know, I actually thought about that the other day, and yeah, they totally eliminated the turn lane out there in Washington. All the construction that they're doing out there, the roundabouts and everything, there's a median going down the road now. There's no more turn lanes. So if your house is on the left-hand side, you have to go oh, up to the wow. roundabout That's and, horrible. and turn and then get into your driveway. Yeah. So yeah, I, I guess that would do the same thing for me. Time to move. <laughs> yeah. Um, leave it to Lakewood. Uh, Bren. Um, excuse me, Troy, that was definitely my idea for the tank top work shirt, so you're welcome, and I'll wait for my, thank you, Bren, you're a genius, thank you, on video. <laughs> oh, I just said it, so, 
I guess that accomplishes that, doesn't it? Thanks, Bren. You're a genius on video. Halloween fur. Well, thanks. I guess I'm just weird. I noticed the big chicken and rooster <laughs> and the weather we've had today. It's been really rainy. Wow, which is kind of nice just because I kind of like the rain and the cool and the cold. It's down like 80 or something instead of 100. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And we're at like, what, 85? And you're like something dying like and that. thinking that you're going to melt? Yeah. Uh, I talked to uh, Troy Crivellone, the other Troy, uh, today, and uh, he says that they have chickens. Uh, apparently, they've adopted some because their neighborhood has chickens. Wow. And uh, he says that uh, it's 111 degrees Fahrenheit there. Oh, my there. God. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Ralph and Jason, what are you resisting with all those resistors? A bypass for what? I'll show you here in a second. We'll let Angie take a shower. And let's see. Uh, Nicole Flynn. Hello, Troy, Angie, Phoenix, Mom, and Fur Babies. And I can't forget fellow Hellions. I hope you're all having a wonderful week. Hot August Nights car show is going on here in Reno, two blocks from my apartment. When I get paid on the 3rd, I will definitely be looking at that, which is today, by the way, mm -hmm. that you're seeing this. Um, I will definitely be looking at all the really cool cars. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the week. Happy haunting. Well, you say hunting, but I know you meant haunting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's going to take a shower. I'm going to show you guys what I was working on. Bye. And then I'll say goodbye. So this is what I made with all the resistors. There's actually resistors right here in this part right here because this uh, the key doesn't work anymore in the car. Uh, it's one of the old GM cars that has the little pellet in the key. That's a resistor and uh, it's no longer working in the column. So rather than, oh man, replace the ignition and the wires and go to the dealer and get another key cut with a resistor pellet in it i'm just making a bypass so it's 523 ohms of resistance this is exactly 523 ohms and it's not easy like each resistor has its own value but it's also a tolerance of plus or minus five so a 100 ohm resistor could be 97 ohms it could be 103 ohms but this is so particular that it needs to be plus or minus 10 with resistance. So I had to add all those resistances together, measure them accurately to see what they actually were, and then I have made this. So this is kind of like a little bypass switch. They turn it on, and then they can put the key in and turn it, and it'll start and run. And when they want to park, they turn this off, and this doesn't turn anything on or off. As far as like the car, the key still works and everything. This is just for the security system. Okay. You guys probably tuned out a long time ago. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.